Chapter Three of Stories from God's Holy Book by Josephine Looney. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Eden. Joe had begun a new story. The place where Adam and Eve lived was the most beautiful spot on earth. Its name was the Garden of Eden. God's Holy Book, the Bible, tells us it was a garden of delight. Lovely trees grew there. The perfume of sweet flowers filled the air. The most wonderful fruits and berries were everywhere. A river like silver ran through the place. Adam and Eve did not have to work. They had nothing to do but enjoy themselves. God brought here all the animals and birds he had made. He said that Adam could give each one its name. So Adam named all the living creatures. Garden of Delight, Garden of Delight, murmured Patricia. It sounds like a song. Adam must have had fun naming the animals said Bobby. Wouldn't it be funny if he had called a moose an elephant? Did Adam and Eve always live in the Garden of Delight? asked Patricia. No, Joe replied, but they might have. Everything in the world would have been different from what it is now if Adam and Eve had obeyed God. But they didn't. Why? questioned Bobby. I will tell you, Joe answered. At first they were good. They were very happy in Eden. God told them they could have everything in the garden except the fruit of one tree. That one tree they must not touch. They obeyed God for a while. Then, one day, the devil, Lucifer, saw them. He knew that if they obeyed God, they would go to heaven and be happy forever. He did not want anyone to go to heaven, so he made himself look like a snake. He curled up around that one tree in the Garden of Eden. Soon Eve came walking by. The snake spoke to her. He told her to eat the fruit that grew on the tree. He said, if she did, she would know as much as God. At first Eve was afraid, but at last she took a bite of the fruit, and it tasted good. Then she gave Adam some, and he thought it was good, too. Did it make them know as much as God? Bobby asked. No, Bobby, Joe answered. No one can know as much as God. It is wrong even to think we can. When Adam and Eve disobeyed God, they committed the first sin on earth. You remember that the bad angels were punished for their sin by being thrown out of heaven. Did God punish Adam and Eve, too? Bobby inquired. Yes, Joe replied. God put Adam and Eve out of the beautiful Garden of Eden. He sent an angel with a flaming sword to stand at the gate and keep them from ever going back. And he told them that because they had disobeyed him, all their children would have to suffer, too. That means everyone born into this world. And it wasn't only Eden that was closed to them. Heaven was closed, too. No one could go there when they died. But God took pity on Adam and Eve. He promised he would send someone to unlock the gates of heaven again. This someone would be Jesus, God's own son. You see, a sin is the worst thing that can happen. It is against God. Adam and Eve could not make up for their sin. Only God himself was great enough to make up for it. Only God himself could open heaven again. Jesus was God's son, and he was God, too, just like his father. He was coming to open heaven again for Adam and Eve and all of us. But it would be hundreds and hundreds of years before he came. Where did Adam and Eve live when they left the garden? asked Bobby. They lived in another part of the world, Joe replied. It was not beautiful like the Garden of Eden. In Eden they had been the rulers. Neither lions, nor bears, nor any other animals would hurt them. Now the animals grew wild, and Adam and Eve were afraid of them. They learned, too, what sickness and trouble meant. They had to work hard to keep alive, and finally they died. And because of their sin, all the people who will ever be born will know sickness and trouble and death. All of us are born with a share of Adam's sin. How old was Adam when he died? Bobby demanded. People lived a long time in those days, Joe explained. Adam lived to be 930 years old. Patricia had not heard his last question, nor Joe's answer. She was singing softly to herself, Garden of Eden, Garden of Delight, Garden of Eden, Garden of Delight. End of chapter 3